Hey guys, Brian Schumann Brown here, physical therapist, CrossFit coach, and wellness coach. Get your fixed physical therapy. I work primarily with runners and CrossFitters in order to get them pain free and back to competition in eight weeks. Uh, but every once in a while, I get questions asked by cyclists, partially because of the triathlete community, and um, I, so a lot of the runners and triathletes um, are asking me questions. So, wanted to address one that I got yesterday, talking about kind of neck and low back pain after cycling for long periods. So, um, we're going to go into a couple different things to um, that you can do for that. So first, I just want to address why it happens so you can understand why I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna show you. When you're on that bike for long periods, obviously I'm not sitting on a bike, but when you're on a bike for long periods, especially if you're sitting in the elbow and the rest, your back is rounded in this position, your head is up in this position, unless you're really racing towards the end and you're in that um, more of an arrow position. But prior to that, if you're just on your long rides, you're rounded and you're here. So it puts a lot of just um, sustained postures in those areas which can cause just a lot of positional irritations and tightness in some of those areas. So first off I'm going to um, just gonna work from the bottom up actually so in um, plus or let me just one other thing actually couple of the reasons uh, we can get a lot of tightness in there is just because the leg muscles that are being used attach to the low back and pelvis area. Especially when you're clipped in, you're using your quads on your push, you're using your hamstrings on your pull. So both those muscles are being used quite a bit, um, affect, can affect that back. So we're going to show, I'm going to show you on the floor here first, a couple stretches for the legs and then we'll get to what you can do for repositioning um, kind of that stuff in the back that's um, aggravated. So. These stretches I have shown before, but um, more addressed for um, other populations, so you may not have seen them. So, just gonna show you them here again. First one's gonna be to stretch those hip flexors and quads out, both of which um, get used pretty good on the bike. So what you're gonna do, your knee's gonna go as close as you can to the wall, but still be able to stay up tall. So, you're gonna position yourself this way, and then come up nice and tall. You should feel a good stretch in the front of the hip here and in the thigh. If you can sit back a little bit more into that, you'll feel a little bit more into that quad. If you can, try to get that knee all the way or as close as you can to that wall. The closer it is to the wall, the better stretch that you will feel. But I want you to be able to stay up tall while you're doing it. So that is the important part of being able to get a good stretch but also staying up nice and tall for that good position. The more you do it, the more you'll be able to notice yourself getting closer and closer to that wall, sitting up nice and tall. Uh, next is gonna be for your hamstrings. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, I'm gonna relocate the camera slightly to show you um, the way I like to do it. So, welcome over here. The way I like to do it, using you can use a bed, a counter if you're out in um, just away from your house, a park bench, something of the sort. But just to keep you up nice and tall, you're just going to rest your leg on whatever surface you have. This one. So in this position, staying up nice and tall through there, tall through your spine, just leaning forward uh, until you feel a stretch back here. I don't want you rounding this way because that's already putting you into that position that you are on your bike that's irritating you. So let's isolate that hamstring that connects to our pelvis and just lean forward there. You can add a little bit of a stretch by pulling that toe up that gets into your lower leg a little bit. So those are the two really good ones for the, for the legs. Now, as far as that low back goes, we'll come back down here. For the low back, I just like to do like a curve reversal basically. So instead of being in this flex posture all the time, you're just going to nice and gently get yourself into an arched position. So the low back is completely relaxed when you do this. All you're doing is just pressing up with your hands and getting into maintaining this position. 
So it takes that away from that forward curve that you've been holding for hours and just gets you into more of an arched extended position. You can even, if your arms are tired, you don't want to hold that. Just hanging out in this position can be just as good. So you can even, I kind of just describe it as hanging out like you're watching TV and literally just hanging out in that position for three to five minutes is usually good. So that's a really good one for reversing that curve in the back and trying to just correct those postures there. As far as the neck goes, you're in this extended period for a long time, which the neck really doesn't like. Same reason uh, when we slouch, we aren't happy because we're just kind of in this position. So a couple things to do for that. One, you can just work on just dropping that head forward. And you should feel a good stretch even all the way into, through that upper back. So just dropping that down. Try to hold for maybe 10, 15 seconds and then relax off of it. Do that a couple times. One thing you can also do, and it's just a really good one for posture anyway, is because we're in that extended position or that forward head position, is just working on sitting up tall. So try to correct that posture. Take some really good deep breaths, expand that rib cage, and work on getting yourself up nice and tall. Work on getting that head back. And that can usually help with a lot of that as well. So try those out, see where that gets you. If you have any questions later on when you're watching this on replay, definitely post those below. I'd be happy to answer any of those questions for you. And as usual, if you have anything specific you want to ask me about, feel free to message me directly. I'd be happy to answer those questions. So hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye.